Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today on Stubble Meat Steel. Today I had a little bit something uh, kind of fun and exciting. My uh, wife's cousin goes on this auction site all the time and they had an auction listing from what was a estate sale and so I was looking through it and uh, there was a couple of a spoiler alert there was a gem or two in there and I was like oh okay well just those few gems in there are worth what they're asking for it so I bid on it and sure enough I won it I went and I picked it up this morning so came in this cool old school leather uh, shaving bag I tried to do this in a short format and uh, Mr. Motormouth I talked way too much and <laughs> couldn't get anything even close to a minute so it looks like a shoe shine kit but wait, there's more. There's another shoe shine brush. These just like the the brushes there look like cheapies. Nothing too uh, nothing too fun or exciting there. Then this is a Burma shave. I don't know if you can read that the right way. Probably backwards. It looks like it accommodates a uh, Gillette Mach Three uh, head of some sort. I thought that was pretty cool. But this is actually brass. I polished it out, and uh, you know I just started to polish it out and polished it up pretty nice. And I thought this was pretty, this was funny. I always joke that for some of my fancy gems, I need a top hat and uh, I got to stick my pinky out when I shave. It looks so fancy. So now, you know, I, I could go all out and shave with this sweet <laughs> shaving, shaving uh, mirror if I want, you know, sit there and check it out like that. I thought that was pretty novel. But wait, there's more. This, uh, let's see, what brand was this? Oh, it was uh, Avon, like the uh, uh, women's uh, makeup <laughs> that was a uh, multi-level marketing. I thought that was pretty funny little brush throw in there what else we got we've got straight razor it is Platts and sons it says uh, in pennsylvania looks like the tip of it's a little rusted out there but uh that wasn't why i bought it i feel like again i bought it for the the gems i figured in anything else was a bonus and boy is there a bonus just you wait so this was one that caught my eye, but it was it was kind of upside down. It was basically like this. So I, I knew it was at least a 1912 or a Gem Junior, but I, I wasn't sure. And I was talking to one of my buddies, ironically, literally this morning. And, you know, it's crazy how quick sometimes things come back into your, your reality. But I was talking to him. Uh, I, unbeknownst to me, there's two different variants of the, uh, the 1912s. And you see how this one kind of uh, curves more at a 45 degree angle right here. Uh, and the, the the way it shapes in, it, it's a different uh, head shape. And this one is a little bit curved, but it's not a Damascene because it, it doesn't say so down in the in the head cap. But I was just reading again this morning on 1912s that both the Damascene and the 1912s, some of them came with the uh, curved heads, leading to confusion between the two models. But uh, this was in primo shape. Uh, you know, it, it's not the junior one either. So I thought that was pretty trick. That was the main one that I wanted the whole set for, and I figured anything else was just added bonus. And I did polish these some of these out, I'll, I'll be honest, I, but they all polished out really great. You know, everybody's got, got to have the uh, official mole remover gem micromatic open comb. So, you know, I wanted to try one. And so with this price, again, how, you know, how could I go wrong? It was such a cheap price for everything. And then... I looked briefly, I talked to some buddies, and they said this is uh, probably about a you know 1930s open comb. They said it should be pretty mild for open combs, so I might check that out. Looks like it's plated to me. It doesn't look like it's brass, because you can see how it's starting to peel a little bit on the edges of the head cap there, but I thought that was pretty cool. And then I thought this was funny, because I wondered if anybody knows anything about these. It says, for all standard scrapers, like it is a really paid scraper blade, not a single edge shaving razor blade, I wonder. So does anybody know, are these ones actually for shaving or are these meant for paint scraper like it's labeled? There's two boxes of those. And now for the piece, piece en resistance, th this is it right here. Okay, so this is a vintage Gillette. But if you notice, it's open comb on one side and then check that out. It's a hybrid cap. It's got a closed comb bar on the other side and it doesn't have any dating on it. Let's see, flip it around the right way. If you can see, it just says made in USA. It has the Gillette, but there's no serial number. There's no date stamp on it. The only thing that it says is, I don't know if you can see that, it says 36 here on the base plate and the top cap. So it tells me those are definitely a matching set. 
Um, I've uh, been talking to a couple people. I reached out to uh, Matt from Razor Emporium, and believe it or not, even he said that uh, he's never seen one. So I'm not really sure if anybody knows anything about this. Uh, please comment below. It's definitely a Gillette. It is a two-piece. That comes out, and uh, you know then. But yeah, there's there's no noting or marking or anything on there. I briefly polished the and cleaned this up, but it was actually really clean when I got it. So yeah. This was basically why I made this whole video. If anybody knows anything about this bad boy, please let me know. Uh, from what I understand, uh, from talking to a few guys that really know about these razors, I talked to Subi Shaves and a couple other guys, and the consensus seems to be that uh, they stopped making the two-piece in about 1930 plus. So it should be basically 1920s to 1930s, if it ever went into production. So I don't know if this is a rare prototype and that 36 on there is a prototyping number, but pretty damn cool if you ask me and it's got some weight to it the handle all here is definitely brass the head cap is definitely brass but i believe that this uh piece right here that the handle pops into and this uh, base plate i believe it to be uh, plated so i didn't want to get uh, too uh, aggressive when i cleaned it up but if anybody knows anything about it please let me know in the comments but i thought that was a pretty cool uh, sweet uh, find that i got i thank my uh my brother-in-law for it. So if anybody knows anything, please comment below. Thanks, gents. Take care.